Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an even more advanced map view. In my, I've had two previous videos and this has been pretty highly requested. So what we're going to do in this one, my previous ones have taught you how to uh, get the user location and show it and how to change the map types uh, such as satellite, um, standard, etc. Um, so this one, it's going to be when you press the button, it's going to locate you it's going to zoom into your location and it's going to follow your location. Now this can be done in a number of ways but I'm going to show you the simplest way. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's open up Xcode. Um, create a new project. If you haven't watched my previous videos and you're not and you're new to the map uh, kit framework I would suggest doing so if you'd like. So we can select single view application and let's just call it advanced map or whatever you'd like to call it and click next and create. So first we have to import our map kit framework. So when we're using maps it knows what we're talking about. It's kind of like a plugin. So we can go into frameworks and right click one of these uh, frameworks here. Click show in finder and we're going to scroll until we find the map kit, which is right here, and drag it right into frameworks and click finish. Okay, so it's pretty simple actually. First, we're going to import the framework. So we're going to import number sign import map kit forward slash map kit dot h. So without this, it wouldn't know what we're talking about when we declare the map view and other stuff like that. So we're going to do an IB outlet for the map view. So we're going to do IB outlet MK map view. Let's call it map view. Keeping things simple. Okay. So now we're going to do two actions. We're going to do IB action find my location. So we're just going to find our location and zoom in. And the next one is going to be IB action set map type ID sender. So we can go into the dot m. That's all we need, and we can go and do our actions now. So we're going to do the first one. We're going to do is find my location ID sender, and put curly brackets. And inside those brackets, we're going to do some coding. It's pretty simple. The way I'm going to show you. So it's going to do map view that shows user location equals yes. So it will show the user location, and we're going to do map view that delegate equals self, and then we're going to do bracket map view set user tracking mode. Oops, sorry. Set user tracking mode. MK user tracking mode, choose the second one. MK user tracking mode, follow. So it will zoom in and follow and animated. Yes. So what we're going to do now is we're done here and we're going to do for the set map type. It's actually quite easy. So we're going to do IB action, whatever we called it, which is set map type ID sender. This is going to set the map type. There's three different ones you can choose from, which is hybrid, standard, and satellite. So we're going to use a segmented control to control which one you would like to use. So we're going to do a switch statement. Switch and um, three. Um, open parentheses. And, and then we're going to do UI segmented control. Star. Close one of them. Sender close another dot selected segmented index so and we have three segmented index so with the switch we're gonna for each segment uh, which is the selected segment index we're gonna do something and what we're gonna do is display a different map type so case does not start at one it starts at zero and zero would be the very left I believe so we can copy this and paste it two more times. 
case 1 and case 2. And default will be whatever the default would be. So we're going to do Matthew dot, uh, dot map type equals mk map type standard. And we can copy this. So basically, we're saying that the map view, the map, our, our map view and its map type will be map type standard. And if we switch to a different segment, if we tap a different segment, uh, the map type will be, let's say, hybrid. And the next one, let's say, it will be uh, MK map type satellite. It's pretty easy. And the default, let's just put the default as standard. So that's all we need. Um, and we're done here. So we can go into the XIV. So now, let's drag in a map view. Just put it wherever. Um, let's drag in a toolbar and put here will be locate me. And then we're going to put in our segmented control and put a flexible space thing uh, you don't really have to but we're just making it a little nice that's all we need and what we're going to do since we have three different map types we need three different segments so click on that and go here and change the segments to three and we can name them so the segment zero will be standard as we said segment one will be a uh, hybrid, I think. Segment two will be satellite. Satellite. So, and you can mess around with the different styles and stuff if you'd like. So let's click on file zoner, go to our connections, connect the map view to our map view, find my location to locate me, and set map type to uh, the segmented control, I'm going to click the value change because the value is going to be changed. Now we can click build and run and see how this goes. Okay, so as you can see it loads as um, standard and we can click locate and as you can see it zooms in very nicely as we said it would be animated and it shows somewhere in California which is the default location in the simulator. I'm not in California, but uh, it does work on the device. I tried it. And as you can see, it slowly moves, and, and the screen will move, keeping your location in the center to wherever you move to. You can click on hybrid, and sure enough, it's hybrid. Satellite, and sure enough, it's satellite. So on and so forth. So if you have any ideas for a future map, uh, more even more advanced, uh, something different, uh, just message me or leave a comment. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.